Angiokeratoma is a skin lesion characterized by ectatic superficial dermal blood vessels associated with reactive epidermal hyperplasia. Angiokeratoma can be solitary or multiple, and we can see them usually on extremities. Uh, some subtypes of angiokeratoma can be seen among elderly men on scrotum, as in this case. So this is the skin of the scrotum, and on higher magnification, we can see marked ectasia of papillary dermal blood vessels. Uh, quite typical for angiokeratoma is that these blood vessels herniate into the epidermis, resulting in appearance of intraepidermal blood vessels. Um, <clears throat> Sometimes we can see thrombosis inside of these blood vessels, as in this case. And here we can see the fibrin and red blood cells. So this is thrombosis. Endothelial cells are, uh, are bland without any atypia. And they look quite normal. Some cases of angiokeratomas can be associated with uh, intravascular papillary endothelial hyperplasia or so-called Mason tumor, but that's what that's not what we see here. We can also see reactive epidermal changes characterized by acanthosis, hyperkeratosis, and elongation of uh, reed ridges around ectatic blood vessels, so-called colorette. And that is also quite characteristic for angiokeratoma. Angiokeratoma should be localized in the superficial portion of the dermis. Uh, we shouldn't see uh, proliferation of the blood vessels in the deep dermis. Here we have another case of angiokeratoma, uh, which is associated with chronic lymphoplasmocytic infiltration uh, in the dermis. And again, we can see characteristic signs of uh, ectatic dilated blood vessels herniating into the epidermis plus uh, reactive epidermal changes with acanthosis, hyperkeratosis, and elongation of uh, reed ridges uh, around the ectatic blood vessels. Okay, this is angiokeratoma. Thanks for watching.